I'm Mohammed Dawood Miraki. Uh, I'm a PhD social scientist, an Afghan American. Uh, this short documentary is about the current situation in Afghanistan. It is Afghanistan after democracy. As in my book, I have illustrated it through photographic images. The book called Afghanistan After Democracy, The Untold Story Through Photographic Images, available at www.afghanistanafterdemocracy.com. Uh, the film will show how life is in Afghanistan. It is certainly not a comprehensive documentary. The short documentary illustrating the misery uh, brought upon the Afghan people after the so-called liberation. It is also, the film is also intended to um, validate my claim throughout to my uh, so-called enemies who have claimed that I haven't been to Afghanistan. There are footage, the footage that you will see in this uh, documentary is from 2005 and as well as from 2006. Uh, so I can say I hope you enjoy the film because some of the photos are or footage are uh, footage is quite graphic and uh, anyone with a conscience of course will not enjoy it. Uh, however, it is worth mentioning that the book that I have produced, Afghanistan of the Democracy, is solely intended to raise funds for humanitarian projects in Afghanistan. Funds or not that will not stop me from exposing the truth about so-called liberation in Afghanistan, which hasn't been liberation, of course, but rather a total disaster. If you choose to purchase my book, please do so at www.afghanistanafterdemocracy.com. And uh, if you support me, I appreciate it immensely. Of course, the proceeds for that book for any purchase or donation will not come to me but rather for projects in Afghanistan. Many thanks. Goodbye. So what we are doing right now is we are moving to our ancestral homeland of Afghanistan. What we are trying to establish is to establish whether Afghanistan was better off before or it is now. Uh, I mean we have to view Afghanistan in its totality of development, not simply as a matter of uh, uh, aesthetics, where people can survive and they have a better life or not, and as well as uh, the, the health issues, uranium contamination. Massive amount of that have been used by the American and the UK and, and their allies, and areas, predominantly uh, Pashtun areas, uh, and some of the horrific deformities and cancer rates have been reported by mainstream medical community in Pakistan. Uh, some of the uh, tremendously horrific uh, uh, conditions uh, for actually cancers have been reported in the uh, Tora Bora area. Esophageal uh, cancers or leukemia in widespread among uh, uh, infants. And equally, uh, the cases of uh, uh, you know abortion among animals as well as humans, uh, spontaneous abortions have been widely reported. Uh, moreover, the uh, situation in Kabul is equally grim, uh, but most of these severe conditions are there where major uh, bombardment or campaigns have been carried out by the American forces in the UK and the rest of these bases. Uh, so hopefully in this trip I will in, uh, investigate and confirm uh, some of those cases as well as investigate or at least shed light on this euphoric uh, feelings that's been widespread in the West that Afghanistan has been quote unquote liberated. And in fact, it is in, in total travesty. Uh, that, of course, entails the massive amount of corruption, uh, homelessness, hunger, disease, lack of sanitation, lack of water, and so forth. Um, uh, people tend to believe that all is well, but all is not well. The situation is quite wet throughout the country. Is Sorry. Which? 
Billions of dollars have changed hands, if you will, from the international donors only to see Afghanistan further devastated and absolutely uh, rid of any infrastructure that it had was being done by the United States. And now the, the streets and the highways are non-existent. The billions of dollars that have been so, uh, as, as they call it, donated, changed hands and went back to the states and to the respective donors. After all, the money and the billions of dollars went to the NGOs who hired individuals to provide them with, with, with service, whatever service that is, and live the high life while the rest of the population are suffering immensely. This particular highway between uh, uh, Jalalabad and uh, Torham, right at the border of Pakistan, has been like that for the past three, four years, and nothing has been done. All at best, at best, simply they, you know, irrigated once a while, you know, sprayed with water in order to reduce the dust, but it hasn't provided any type of uh, uh, reconstruction, if you will.